Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're going to be doing some ETS-2. I've had some requests to do some ETS-2 and run some European trucks. So that's what we're going to do. we got a load of onions. Uh, we're going to be running 288 miles. And uh, we're using a Scania truck in our own trailer. So let's get on the road. I don't play ETS-2 enough guys, I really don't, and when I do, I normally use modded trucks, and I'm not really a fan of these trucks. But I, I can say from driving this one a little bit, I'm, I, it's kind of growing on me. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. 2021 is going to be a lot better year. I'm going to be pushing to get more Turn done. Left. On here. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. Hoping we'll get some daylight too so we can get a thumbnail. Now, I, I don't know a lot about these trucks, so I may not have this set up like they should be set up, because I really don't know a lot about these trucks. And how they set them up and stuff like that. You know what, we may go ahead and get one here. Why well, we got some light? Let me get it over here. That's just that way we got some light. We're not you know, having a really dark picture, which it may still be dark. I may have to lighten it up some. Hope everyone is enjoying the videos. Um, we're going to be leaving the map up. This truck, I thought, had a GPS in it, but it doesn't. So we're going to be uh, leaving the map up. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Exit now. Keep left, and then turn left. Turn left. So, NCS has a lot of stuff they are working on, guys. There's a lot that yeah, they have said that they are working on for next year. So, really looking forward to that. You know, we got Texas, we got Wyoming coming, we've got a lot of... Uh, they're going to rework... Um, California and ATS. I know that Nigeria is coming for this gamma and I know the new lighting system and all will be also for this game too. So yeah, the, there's there's a lot that they are working on at, at the moment. I don't think we're going to make daylight in this run. 
Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. So you're just kind of being quiet. I am using default engine sounds um, for these trucks. Like I said, I don't know really a lot about the engines and you know transmissions and what these European trucks like this would use. I don't really know a lot about that. Um, I don't think that we had to take the ferry. Let me see if we got to take the ferry on this trip. Uh, we do. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to take the ferry across. The boat across. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I wasn't positive. I couldn't remember. Uh, another thing too guys, I have, I did re, uh, get, um, Red Redemption FR working. Um, right now there's no sound. Uh, the last update that Rockstar done, I don't know what happened. I don't have any sound for the game. I'm gonna look into it more, but really there's no updates. I mean, there's, there has been no, no new mods, no new callouts, you know, nothing has come out for that mod. I mean, it's pretty much the same as it was. You know, the developers have updated the mod itself, but, you know, as far as add-ons and call-outs and stuff, there's really not much out there for it. Go straight on. And I will be running, making a video with a new Freightliner for American Truck Simulator. I just have not got around to make one yet. Well, one will be coming. <coughs> Excuse me. One will be coming. Um, I have run the truck. Uh, so one will be coming. I have not got, got there and ain't got around to make one yet. Kind of being quiet, enjoying the drive. Normally, guys, when I do play ETS2 like this, I, know, I normally use modded trucks, um, more American trucks that I can find. But honestly, there's not a lot of American trucks out there right now 
over here for ETS2. There's a few. There's not many though. So I decided I would run one of these trucks for a while. And see what I thought about it. I want to say too, there is a F mod uh, uh, N14 F mod pack engine pack that has come out over on the workshop. I'm going to be looking at that to see what mod trucks it works with. I know it works with SCS trucks, so I'm going to be looking at that engine pack, checking it out. Turn left. I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on with that. Why is doing that? I do apologize for the phone. I forgot to unplug it. Yeah, guys, I've had some requests to play some ETS-2 over here. Uh, last time I did Get run over here, right. it was uh, a American truck. So, I've had some requests. I've had some requests, did some live streams, um, you know, stuff like that over here in ETS-2. Right. And that is something that we can do. Um, the live stream that I was planning on doing Wednesday did not go off. I was having problems with LSPDFR. I was going to do a live stream of that, and... It was broken when I got ready to do it, so I had to fix it. So I, I have not had time to get back in and do another one. Because it's still not running the best, I, I can tell you that. After the last update, it's not running the best. Ready to turn right. Turn right.
like we're taking the train. Five minutes, Let's find a new route. We're hauling onions. We still got 195 miles to go. Self up ones enjoying the day. Hoping for a whole lot better year this year. And really hoping to be able to get in here and do a lot more of this, because this is what I want to do. Kind of being quiet, guys. Just kind of being quiet and then look into the scenery. Better slow down before we uh, flip this truck.
many of you guys are looking for some really good games to be coming out for 2021. I'm hoping to see some some pretty neat stuff. I know that the you know the next gen consoles are out. Um, me personally, I may end up getting a PS5. I'm not really sold on the idea yet. I have a PS4 and I don't play it, so that's kind of where I'm. I'm like, well, if I get it, I won't play it. Um, But I'm uh, hoping to see some really neat titles. I do know that um, there is a Mass Effect remaster in the works. I would love to see that. Especially for P for PC. It really needs to be redone for PC to make it control supported and uh, you know update it to the way the graphics and all should be today. And you know. Exit right. I do apologize for the disturbance of no of the phone and stuff like that. And I I just forgot to unplug it. How many of y'all went out and celebrated for the new year? I mean, you know, it, it's not really, I don't really celebrate. I mean, it's, it's just another day to me. You know, another day and another year, pretty much what all it is to me. about 50 miles out and normally I do turn that, turn that off but like I said this truck does not have a GPS for some reason I thought it did I'm gonna have to go back and look at that and maybe it's, um, get a different interior for, for the GPS
You know, I, I get a lot of um, different suggestions on these videos. You know, I get suggestions where they don't want a lot of talking. I get then I get suggestions where they want a lot of talking. You know, so it's hard to you know to do both. You know, and keep everybody happy. So, oh, <coughs> excuse me, and then, you know, and then so I decide. You know, that a lot of times that I, I just don't talk a lot, so you guys can hear the truck. You know, and see the sights of this game. Cause these both of these games. ETS 2 and American Truck Zone, they're both beautiful games. I mean, they're made very well. The maps are gorgeous in, in, in what they do, you know. But the world that is creating it, it looks Keep very right, well. Keep right, and then exit right. Exit right. Roundabout, take the second exit. Oh, what are we here? Exit now. Ready to turn right. Turn right. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. All right, well here it's all over now. Now, I, I don't have Tracker R. I have a lot of questions about the reason why I back like this. I don't have Tracker R, and it's hard to move the camera around and stuff to back from the mirrors. So I had to do it this way. This is a lot different from back in the uh, uh, trailer in ATS.
Yeah, this is gonna be a lot more difficult. I'm not used to these trucks. These trucks drive different. But we'll get it in there. May take us a little bit, but we'll do it. All right, we drove excellent. We drove 253 miles. It took us seven hours and 44 minutes to get here. We consumed 34.7 gallons of fuel. We're here. guys that's gonna be it for this video of ETS 2 like I said I've had some requests to get in here and maybe run some uh do some ETS 2 using a European truck so I decided to go ahead and, un and do that with so this little setup we got here now I do understand the rims are not like they should be on a truck like this but that's okay for me it is anyways thank you for watching thank you for subscribing have a good day